aquí con Janet Lee Sigamore de Lincoln. Uh, how are you, Janet? Fine, thank you. Thank you for having me. No, thank you for taking the time of doing this. And this is a very interesting topic because every car manufacturer, especially in the premium uh, segment, it's uh, trying very, very hard to put a uh, as much uh, detail in their cars and Lincoln is not the exception. I was recently on the MKC, the the SUV uh, crossover uh, model, the new model that, that just came out. And also I drove recently the MKZ, the hybrid, the, the sedan. So uh, you work on both uh, cars and at some aspects of them, right? Yes, yes I have. Tell us about it. I mean, I noticed in both cars, there's a lot of new materials that, uh, for example, I remember in the MKC, Uh, there's this open wood, uh, uh, open pour wood on the panels, which which is beautiful. I mean, and and uh, it's something that you never, you didn't see in, in cars up to like a, a few years ago. That's correct. Um, we have uh, designed and developed a open pour Santos rosewood on the MKC. Uh, we felt that the rosewood um, really harmonized and complemented the uh, geometry of the applique parts on this vehicle with the, um, you know, with the long flowing lines that are in the interior. And we were actually inspired by the Eames lounge chair, a classic uh, piece of furniture that we felt the um, wood actually on the Eames lounge chair is a Brazilian rosewood. And the soft curvature of that chair was really the inspiration that reminded us of uh, the design of the MKC applique parts. And yeah. we thought that that would harmonize well and it actually was uh, the starting point for us. And we ended up using a Santos rosewood instead of the Brazilian rosewood, which is extinct now. So, yeah. Um, yeah. That's, that's and, uh, how, how, how challenging is uh, it's uh, to convert that concept, that uh, design concept, into reality? Because uh, I mean, most people don't realize how much work goes into to putting these cars on, into production. Because as uh, you, as a designer, come up with an idea, and then there's suppliers, there's like production issues, engineering, safety issues, and all that. I mean, how challenging is to to yeah. co to make that idea into reality? Mm. Yes, there's quite a bit of development from, um, you know, from inspirations uh, translated into identifying an actual um, feasible and producible uh, finish within the interior it is quite a challenge. So it takes years of development and testing um, and feasibility work with the suppliers and our engineering team. To, um, to actually get it into production and uh, ready for you know, consumer use. Yeah, and uh, for example, in this case of the MKC with this uh, wood trimming and, and the interior, I mean, how do you do the, the, the wear and tear testing? Because, I mean, as I saw it, I was really happy and, and, uh, and glad to see how it, it uh, looked. But at the same time, I was kind of like thinking, okay, how, how long is going to last? Yeah. Well, you know, um, all of our materials in the interior go through strenuous testing. We have, Ford has some of the um, most stringent specification requirements um, on all of its finishes, and uh, in particular, wood that is used on the instrument panel due to all of the um, sun, uh, sun load and, uh, you know, different types of, um, uh, you know, like suntan lotions and, and uh, body oils and things like that um, has, has to pass through testing and fade requirements. And so it actually, um, we go through like a 10-year type of uh, testing requirement. It goes through uh, simulation uh, testing as well. So um, again, Ford has some of the most stringent test requirements, specification requirements. And so Um, it's it's passed all of that, those tests, so yeah, it's ready to be implemented. Well, no, it looks uh, the final product looks great, uh, and I'm sure. And some of these products sometimes they age pretty well too, right? I mean, like some of the woods, especially wood, um, age pretty well and might change a little bit of color or something, but maybe will look better with with time. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I mean, wood is a natural. Uh, product, of course, such as leather as well, and um, and so you know we like we like the fact that you know the the natural products can also tell a story. Um, you know you don't want it to fade so much so that it uh, 
is not going to look, um, you know, harmonizing in the interior anymore. And of course, these woods have gone through all the testing so that it meets all the fade requirements. Um, but, but at the same time, it is a natural product. And so, you know, you're going to get um, some level of beauty um, as it as it ages. You know, I like to think that uh, things get more beautiful as it ages. <laughs> no, absolutely. Especially a natural product. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. So uh, t tell us about uh, the, the selection of other materials. I mean, I guess technology has allowed... Uh, People like you who are in the design business for cars, uh, the use of many new things, including wood, as we said, but wood has been used for, for many, many years. Uh, but now there's synthetic textiles and, uh, I mean, like, even a little line on uh, on the cloth, in, in, in case of some cars, that goes into into the seat, for example, or the, the center panel. I mean, that makes a huge difference. So how has your job changed with uh, the application of new technologies? Yes, um, some of the other new materials we've developed uh, in the interior, we have an all-new leather that we've developed with our leather uh, partner called Bridge of Weir. And uh, the leather is called Deep Soft Leather. It's um, a very beautiful, premium, soft, supple, um, natural grain, chrome-free product that we're using on the seats. And um, and as you mentioned, you know, we've gotten to the, even the level of detail with the stitching. Um, for the MKC, for instance, we've worked with our suppliers to hone in on um, giving very tight uh, stitch specifications so that we have a certain number of stitches per inch and a certain total number of width and tolerance for those stitching so that we get down to the level of craftsmanship that is so important. Um, you know, in, in, in giving that overall perception of quality in the interior. So, wow, down, um, to, down to each stitch, huh? the distance of a stitch, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, so we put a lot of effort into really refining um, and enhancing the details in Lincoln um, for starting with the MKC and for future products as well. Yeah, and... Uh, Uh, and your work has been recognized lately. I mean, you're getting a lot of recognition from uh, media, consumers, and uh, you're getting awards for the, the design. And so it's it's paying off. Right? It's been hard. it's always hard, but uh, hard work. But uh, at the end, that's that's what you were looking for. Yes, yes, we're we're all very excited, and um, you know, excited to see how how the uh, product's going to be perceived by the public and. Um, Uh, hopefully customers will appreciate, you know, the, the new direction of Lincoln. Yeah. So, um, you've been with uh, with Ford for, for a long time, right? I mean, you've been uh, working on exterior design, uh, interior design. How how it, how it challenging is nowadays? Because c consumers are always expecting more and more and more for cars. And uh, mm -hmm. the competition is furious and uh, everybody's wa everybody wants to do more with, with less. So... How 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 you 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 face this this challenge? Oh yeah, I know. You know, it's it's always a challenge um, trying to come up with new ideas, new concepts. Um, but you know, um, my design team and I are always doing. Uh, we're constantly looking at the competition, looking at aspirational competitors. But we also do a lot of. Um, Cross industry benchmarking and trend benchmarking. We look at um, societal changes, and um, you know we take everything into account as we try to garner inspirations for new concepts and ideas. And uh, you know, it's it's many people who's involved with the making of of new of the new Lincoln, and uh, we're all working cohesively as a team together to uh, to move the product and brand forward. Yeah, and sometimes that inspiration comes from play, from places or products that uh, most people wouldn't relate with cars. I remember a few years ago when a presentation there at your studio when you opened uh, in Detroit, and they were talking about how Apple influenced the design uh, industry with the white color of their products. Mm -hmm. Right. So right with such um, yeah, Apple is definitely an inspiration in terms of uh, well just. It's such a cohesive product, um, visually and functionally, and it's achieving that sense of um, total harmony within a product that resonates so clearly with um, with a customer that you know as soon as you see as soon as you have a product like that 
um, you know that it's done right. And that's what we're trying to achieve with Lincoln as well, that it, it looks and feels and functions just it's right. <laughs> yeah. We're talking to Jared Lee Zimmer. Uh, she's a color materials design manager for uh, Lincoln. And uh, I mean, I guess uh, you're working for products that are going to come out in a, a few years out. So, I mean, that's another big, big challenge to know what trends are going to be uh, still accepted in, a, in even like uh, a few months. But now you, you work in products for like years down the road. Yes. Yes, we are working on um, New Lincoln products uh, that's coming down the road in 2018. <laughs> wow. Well, I, I, I won't waste any more of your time because, uh, I mean, it sounds uh, a, a long way uh, ahead, but it really isn't. So, Janet Lee Seymour yeah. from uh, Lincoln Motor Company, thank you very much for your time, and uh, we're going to uh, stay, uh, we'll enjoy your cars whenever we have a chance to do it, okay? Thank you so much, Javier. Thank very you, nice Janet. You. Bye. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.